urgent. Why you need to stop drinking fake milk immediately. Good, wholesome milk the way it used to be. Smooth, creamy, and jam-packed with natural, organic nutrients. You can drink this even if you're lactose intolerant. And it's not raw soy, almond, coconut, or rice milk. Remember when milk used to be good for you? Remember when milk was jam-packed with nutrients? Proteins, enzymes, vitamins, minerals, good gut bacteria, good fat. The list goes on and on and on. It's a complete meal in a drink. After all, it's what babies eat from the moment they're born. It was most likely your very first meal. But sometime in the last few decades, big dairy started messing around with it. You've probably heard of antibiotics, growth hormones, and the genetically modified soy and corn they force feed cows with. And frankly, milk just stopped being what it used to be. Now, I can go on and on about big dairy, but I'd rather not, because that's not the point of this presentation. What I'd rather tell you is about how I rediscovered real milk. Milk that's filled with all the nutritious, creamy goodness we all remember. And before you think I'm pushing raw cow milk, I'm not. This isn't about soy, almond, rice, or any of those substitutes either. Frankly, those aren't milk in any sense of the word and are actually really bad for you. Now, this is something much better. You see, this is a milk anyone can enjoy, even if you're allergic to milk or lactose intolerant. In fact, this milk I'm about to share with you might even be considered a superfood. I promise you, this story is crazy. You see, a few years ago, I went on a road trip with an old high school buddy and discovered somewhere on earth that there was still milk held to the same high standards milk used to be. But first, who am I? My name is Walid, and I grew up in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. When I was 18, I moved to the United States to study at USC. But at this time, I turned into a health freak, got into CrossFit, paleo, biohacking, you name it, I did it. Well, one holiday break, I went home to go on a pilgrimage to Mecca that literally changed my life. Picture this, summer 2012, home for the holidays. Two weeks during Hajj. Now, Hajj's and Muslims make a pilgrimage to Mecca once in their life. But during that time, we also reconnect with our family, relatives, and old friends. Well, I met up with an old high school buddy named Myruk. He's from Bangladesh. We both went to the British International School together in Jeddah. That's in Saudi Arabia. Funny thing growing up in a British school, we all got our heads filled with more 90s pop culture than most American kids. You can quiz me anytime. Friends, everyone loves Raymond, Home Improvement. You name it, I've watched it. Anyway, on this holiday, my Rook and I decided to make the pilgrimage to Mecca together. It was something I've done a few times, but my Rook hadn't. Little did I know, this one trip would change my life forever. As I mentioned already, during this time, I was a total health freak. And one day, while on the pilgrimage, I was craving raw milk. I figured, it must be easier to get out here than America. I told my Rook about this and he laughed at me. Dude, you can't get raw milk in this heat. We're out in the desert where the Bedouins live. It'll spoil, it's too hot. And when I heard that, I thought, well, at least you can get it here. Back in my adopted home of America, it was next to impossible. But then my Rook had a twinkle in his eye. You know what your best bet is? I said, what? He told me to stay where I was and he left the hotel room. Bewildered by his sudden departure and with nothing to do, I watched some TV. Two hours later, my Rook comes back to the room with a plastic bag filled with white liquid. He cut it open and poured me a glass. Here, try this. I said, what is it? And he said, don't worry about it. Just try it first, I'll tell you later. I trusted my Rook and I took a swig of it. It was rich, creamy with a slight sweetness to it. It tasted like milk. The way it was meant to be, the way it used to be. I was instantly transported back to my childhood. Do you remember what it was like when you drank milk growing up? Back when they delivered it in glass bottles to your doorstep or you could buy them in plastic bags? If you grew up in the 80s like I did, you know what I mean. This was before Genetech and Monsanto figured out they could manufacture artificial bovine growth hormones, or BGH for short, and got the FDA to approve it in 1993. Back then, milk still tasted like milk. Now, I'm not saying it was all good. Even back then, dairy cows were subjected to antibiotics, feedlots, and a corn diet, but it wasn't as bad as it is today. 
There wasn't innocent beauty to note back then. And I was tasting it again, here in the middle of the desert on my way to Mecca. I could make a comment about the biblical lands of milk and honey, but that would be really cheesy. So what was this mysterious, raw milk my friend got for me? Well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. It was camel milk. That's right, milk from a camel. Just like how the Bedouins in the desert drank it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Milk from a camel, that sounds crazy. Before you run to the hills thinking I'm insane for suggesting something as out there as drinking camel's milk, just hear me out, okay? Obviously, if you didn't grow up in the desert, the only time you would have seen a real live camel was probably at a zoo. But out here, camel milk is considered a highly prized gift. Most Arab families give this milk to friends and family as a way to honor them when they visit their home. So even though I grew up in Jeddah, I've only had camel's milk once or twice before as a child and didn't realize how special it was. That is, until my root got me some that day on our pilgrimage. Under the context of it being raw milk for my CrossFit biohacking obsession. It's funny how your perception of things changes depending on what stage of life you're in. Well, anyway, I thought, this stuff is good, but is it really good? I looked into the science of camel milk and it blew me away. Here are eight reasons why camel milk is a bona fide superfood. One, you can drink camel milk if you're lactose intolerant or even if you're allergic. So first of all, camel milk has some lactose in it, but doesn't contain the A1 casein protein you get in raw American cow milk. It has the A2 casein protein. As you may know, A1 beta casein is what shows up in Holstein and most Western cows. And what's more, A1 casein is the one that lowers your immune system, creates allergic reactions, and even leads to type 1 diabetes. So if you're allergic to cow milk, you're fine here. Furthermore, cow milk doesn't have lactoglobulin like cow milk does. That's the stuff that reacts to you if you're lactose intolerant. This was huge. Over 70% of Americans are lactose intolerant, and I bet you many of them miss milk. Now they can drink milk again, and that's not all. One recent study has proven that cow milk can make you less intolerant to other foods. Two, cow milk is brimming with proteins, over 200 of them. A Cambridge Journal reveals that they found tons of protective proteins in cow milk. Proteins with complicated names like lysosome, lactoferrin, lactoperoxidase, immunoglobin G, and secretory immunoglobin A. Now, Biohackers like me obsess over this stuff, and I don't want to bore you with too much science, but let's say that these proteins have powerful immune factors like bringing a gun to a knife fight. Research shows camel milk is supercharged with immune and growth factors. What's more, camel milk is a complete protein. That means it has the nine essential amino acids that our body needs but can't produce on its own. That's pretty powerful, but that's not all. Three, camel milk boosts your immune system. All those immunoglobulins I mentioned don't just fight bad guys in your body. Just like original cow milk before it got messed up by big dairy, camel milk contains a ton of antibodies and enzymes, and what's more, camel milk immunoglobulins are smaller than human ones. This means when it hits your bloodstream, they have more access, they pass into tissues more easily. They're like, Navy SEALs, Marine Corps, and Green Berets rolled into one. They get into places others can't and do serious damage on bad guys. Speaking of your immune system, four, camel milk supports your gut microbiome. You've probably heard how important your gut is. You've probably heard words like gut flora, good bacteria, and probiotics. In fact, our gut is our first line of defense against disease. It kills any bad bacteria we might have eaten. You've probably heard of probiotics. That's the good bacteria you get in yogurts and supplements. Well, camel milk has it too, which is cool. But here's what's cool about camel milk. It has prebiotics as well. Prebiotics? What is prebiotics? Well, prebiotics is what probiotics eat to grow and multiply. Without prebiotics, you have to constantly have more probiotics to replace it. So while probiotics adds new bacteria, prebiotics keeps it there and helps it grow. Well, 
you'll probably be happy to hear that camel milk has been proven to have both prebiotics and probiotics. So camel milk essentially helps support gut health. That's a powerful one-two punch. It does a lot more. Five, camel milk has more vitamins and minerals. Now, in many ways, camel milk is just like cow milk. It has essential minerals our body needs like calcium, potassium, and phosphorus. But here's what makes camel milk superior. According to studies done by Alexandria University, camel milk has more fat and protein. And it also has seven times more B1 vitamins than cow milk. B1, also known as thiamine, helps the body process carbs and boost your immune system, helps with digestion, and keeps your nervous system working. But the extra good fats is what's super important here, because fat is what your brain eats a lot of, and camel milk simply has more of it. And that's why six, camel milk feeds your brain. Because camel milk is naturally homogenized, that is, the good fat doesn't float up like cow milk does, and is already mixed in with the rest of the milk, and stays mixed in. It's harder for camel milk farmers to steal the good fat for cheese, cream, and butter. This means you're getting more good fat in camel milk. The essential fatty acids that our brains crave. The good fat that feeds your cells and energizes you, not the bad fat that goes straight to your thighs and butt and clogs up your arteries. In fact, compared to cow milk, camel milk has twice to three times as much good fat. And that's even before they skimmed off all the good stuff in cow milk. Seven, camel milk has insulin-like molecules and is diabetic friendly. I kid you not. In one study, they found that the high levels of calcium in camel milk helps maintain health blood sugar levels already within normal limits. In another, they found that there were much lower rates of diabetes in places where camel milk is drank regularly. And in a 2005 study out of India, they discovered that camel milk is diabetic friendly. And when I discovered this, I had to find out how else people have used camel's milk for health reasons. Aside from maintaining blood sugar already within normal limits, camel milk was also known to be tolerant to people with allergies, improve heart and blood health, and even boost your immune system. That last point is important because some scientists believe the gut and brain are connected, known as the gut-brain axis. And in a 2005 study in the International Journal of Human Development, they had patients consume camel milk instead of cow milk. Camel milk promoted good bacteria in the gut and gave stronger support for a child's health mentality behavior. And finally, eight, camel milk is nutritionally closer to breast milk than cow milk. Remember when I was harping on about how our very first meal on planet Earth is our mother's milk and how important colostrum is? That's because colostrum is like a super supplement for us. It has all the genetic blueprints for supporting your immune system passed down from mother to child. If a child can't get colostrum, they can get sick more easily. In other words, colostrum is like giving your child antivirus software. Well, guess what? In a scientific study done at Alexandria University, they found that camel milk was very close to human milk. And because of that, camel milk is used around the world to supplement or even replace breast milk where moms can't nurse. That says a lot about camel milk. It's so nutritious, it's good enough to compare to breast milk. Now, when I discovered all these facts about camel milk, I just knew I had to add it to my biohacking CrossFit paleo diet. Unfortunately, back in America, camel milk was even harder to get than raw cow milk. Now, camel milk sounds pretty awesome, right? Personally, I was thrilled. I thought, this is real milk. This is what milk used to be like. The kind of wholesome, delicious, nutritious milk that feeds the body. I had to get more of it. I had to get it back home for training. But when I got back to school after the holidays and started hunting down where I could get camel milk in the US, I found it next to impossible to get. As of today, there are only 5,000 camels in America. 
They're spread out all over the country in small family farms. So I took matters into my own hands. Now, up until now, I told you I'm a CrossFit nut, but I never told you what I was studying at USC. It was entrepreneurship. And guess what I did for my graduation project for my bachelor's in business? If you said figuring out how to build a business around camel milk, you're absolutely right. And that's exactly what I've been doing since I graduated. Over the past five years, I've traveled the entire country, visiting family farms from the Amish to Mennonites to abandoned cow dairy farms. I've traveled to over 30 states to look for camel farms who meet my level of standards and criteria. Family ran farms to partner with. And today, I found six farms in six states I'm proud to be working with. Here's a map of all of them. And frankly, it's been a huge ride. I've been interviewed on the Wall Street Journal, LA Times, and Huffington Post. In fact, my company, Desert Farms, has been featured in all of these media outlets. And while I'm just starting out, I've already managed to get distribution at places like Dean and DeLuca and these other natural stores. But the best part about starting my own business in America, following my passion and bringing it to the world, it's talking to my customers. I've met triathlon athletes, doctors, trainers, restaurant owners, and mothers in my journey of getting camel milk out there. Just check out what some of them have to say. Camel's milk absolutely fits in as one of the most perfectly packaged protein sources that nature has to offer as long as we can keep it as close to nature as possible. You don't separate the fats from the proteins and create an inflammatory firestorm. You instead keep milk the way it's supposed to be, right? The fats and the proteins all blended together. And you don't kill all the probiotics with pasteurization but you instead let the bacterial profile remain active. And when you look at natural milk like that, all of a sudden it becomes very, very compatible with this whole idea of living ancestrally. But it's just a matter of defying the status quo of what people would, would think that an athlete needs to perform and instead look at not just what an athlete needs to perform, but also what an athlete needs to live a long time and to be really healthy and feel good doing it. Once we start identifying what issue it is, we can use food as medicine. Camel's milk is one of the things I recommend for a lot of our patients. Camel's milk has a lot more iron, about 10 times more iron content, and it has three times more the vitamin C content than regular milk. It's packed with nutrition. It's kind of like liquid gold. The most common disorders in children today are eczema, asthma, and allergies and one of the most common triggers is milk. Those people who have sensitivities and allergies to cow's milk may be much less sensitive. But this isn't about me, it's about you. If you're still here, maybe you're thinking, man, I wish I could enjoy a tall, cool glass of milk like I used to. The kind that was delicious, nutritious, clean, raw, powerful, it gave me a feeling of energy like I was a kid again. Maybe you're lactose intolerant or allergic to cow milk. Maybe you literally can't stomach what Big Dairy does to their milk. Maybe you've tried alternative milk, but it never tasted quite right to you. Well, here's the answer, camel milk. And because you stayed with me this long, I wanna send you four bottles of camel milk absolutely free. Here's the deal. While it's great getting distribution in health food stores, the majority of my business is finding like-minded people like you and getting this delicious milk into your hands directly. For the past three years, we've shipped camel milk to homes all across America and Canada. People like Ben Greenfield, the triathlete you met, or the moms like Daisy White and doctors like Dr. Edmund Sarif. It all begins with you trying your first bottle of camel milk. If you don't like that first bottle, then nothing grows from that. And that's why, because I'm on a mission to evangelize the superior health benefits of camel milk to anyone and everyone willing to listen. I'm going to do something a little outside the box. I wanna make trying camel milk completely risk-free and send you four bottles of camel milk absolutely free. That's right, 
Simply click on the button below now and I'll ship a four pack of eight ounce bottles straight to your door. All you need to do is cover shipping and handling. Of course, you're more than welcome to go to your local grocery store and see if they already carry my milk. But you'd be paying the regular price of $18 to $25 a pint. Plus, as you saw, we're not in that many stores to begin with. Yet. The point is, you can try camel milk from the comfort of your own home without getting up to go shop for it. And here's the best part. If you like it, I have a free shipping program that ensures you get a constant supply of camel milk throughout the year with a lifetime discount. But before we get ahead of ourselves, there's something important you need to know. You need to hurry and act fast. Here's the deal. Since I started this business in 2014, I have grown it to a network of six family farms totaling 200 camels. That may sound like a lot, but it's not. Compared to cow milk, there are 9.3 million dairy cows in America. And for us on a good day, we're able to produce about 600 bottles or 75 gallons of milk, which again is a drop in the bucket compared to big dairy. What's more, cows produce a whole lot more milk than camels do. Now, the reason I bring up these numbers again is because after you do a bunch of math, we're only able to service about a thousand families right now, and we already have 3,000 regular customers. Last month, the wait list for new customers was between three weeks and a month. Of course, I'm always doing my best to expand and carefully choose more farms that share our same philosophy, values, and quality standards. However, the point still stands. I want you to try this milk. I want you to get this first bottle into your hands and enjoy it. I want your mind to be blown by it. I want your body to feel amazing because of it. I want your family energized by it. But you might be put on a long wait list if you don't act fast. Remember, the offer is completely risk-free. Let me send you four bottles straight to your door right now. Just click the button below. When you click on the button, you'll be asked to fill out your information on a secure 128 SSL encrypted secure web page. Once we have your information, we'll ship your free trial of camel milk out to you within 24 to 48 hours. It will arrive on your doorstep in secure packaging, especially designed for shipping food items chilled and ready to drink. Please note, we are super environmentally conscious. The packaging is made of reusable and recyclable materials. You can send it back to us or bring it to a recycling plant. And if you fall in love with the taste of camel milk, if your body feels energized like you've never felt before, and you want more of it, simply do nothing. And I'll ship you another four bottles next month. And if you'd like to decide later, simply uncheck the box on the next page. And that's it. Click on the button below now and tell me where to ship your four free bottles of camel milk. This is Waleed, founder and CEO of Desert Farms, signing off. Oh wait, almost forgot. Some people recently wrote and asked what happened to Maruk, the friend I went on the pilgrimage to Mecca with, the guy who reintroduced me to camel's milk. Here's what happened to him. He's studying engineering at the University of Toronto. We write each other once in a while, and yes, I send him Desert Farm Camel Milk as a token of appreciation. Just like how I'd like to send you four bottles of camel milk as a gift for watching this video presentation. It's my way of saying thank you. Simply click the button below and let me know where to send your camel milk. It's that simple. Ask for your four free bottles of camel milk now. I'm Waleed, signing off again. Oh, hey, are you still here? Is it because you have a few questions still? Here's some questions I get asked all the time. One, is camel milk expensive? It isn't when you really think about it. You see, with cow milk, if it wasn't for heavy lobbying, subsidies, and hormones, a gallon of milk should technically be $9.82 adjusted for inflation. But cow milk is cheap because it's essentially dead milk. All the fat, nutrients, and goodness has been stripped away or boiled out. Plus, here's something else you need to know about camel's milk. 
you don't chug it like cow milk. In fact, we recommend you drink only two to four ounces a day. This is potent stuff. Remember, camel milk has more protein, more fat, more B1 vitamins, and more colostrum like qualities than any other milk out there. Two, what is batch pasteurization? Well, instead of boiling the milk intensely at 280 degrees Fahrenheit and chilling it rapidly like what Big Dairy does, which is called flash pasteurization, we heat the milk in small batches at the lowest possible temperature, 154.4 degrees Fahrenheit instead. This way, we still kill the bad bacteria, but it retains all the other vitamins, enzymes, fat, minerals, and protein. I should also note that camel's milk has been proven to be much more heat resistant than cow milk. Three, I thought pasteurized milk kills all the good stuff. Not all pasteurizers are created equal. We use the absolute lowest heat possible for a product to be considered pasteurized. Interestingly, only one degrees Fahrenheit can separate a product from being raw or pasteurized. 